Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Football and we are back again for another Champions League fantasy update. This time match day 8, that is the round of 16 second leg. Um, now for my first leg, um, I scored 94 points but I really doubt it's going to be as um, as good as that because there's a couple of changes I'll need to make um, to my team. So this is not my final team. I'll have my final team posted on Monday in the community tab so usually you have to wait until the the, the the last one day for you to make the subs because i can't make the transfers right now otherwise if any players get injured over the weekend it's going to be a lot of trouble so i hope you understand that but i'll be giving you guys what uh, some ideas of what i'm trying to do so as always let me know uh, how, how your team is looking in the comment section and uh, how many points you're targeting so let's get straight um into it so at the moment um i do have nine players that i'm sure are going to play that is um Ulrich, the goalkeeper from Bayern, um, Donnarumma, the, the second goalkeeper in my team, Halle, um, uh, Moreno, I do have Rudiger, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Sane, Salah and Lewandowski. So those are the nine players out of the 15 that I think are definitely going to play. Um, obviously, the Man City boys, we're not sure if they're going to play. They have Manchester United this weekend and they're already through basically 5 nil lead. Uh, Bernardo Silva, Mars, Laporte, Cancelo are all... Um, rotation troubles in my team um Jorginho didn't play a minute against Lille last time out and I think in the Carabao Cup final as well he only came on to take a penalty as well for Chelsea um we are not sure about the situation with um Paulinho up front but also I really don't want him there I only had him because I didn't have anyone else to put there so against Man City really depends will Sporting also just take this game like a nothing game or will they try and get a win away to Man City play the likes of Paulinho and if City have rotated could they end up getting a win against City or scoring a couple against City that is something that could happen so what you need to know is you're allowed three transfers in case you haven't made any you're allowed three transfers for this match day uh, and the next match day which will be the quarterfinal match day nine you will be, be allowed five transfers so you can only carry one transfer from now to the next round so that you can have six in the next round which you might not need um, especially if you already have players who are already through like in my team um trend alexander arnold liverpool leading two nil i expect rudiger to go through as well Laporte, Cancelo, Myers, Bernardo Silva, expect Sunny Leondowski to go through as well, Salah. So we'll have at least 12 players who will eventually go through. So I will not maybe need those um, six transfers later. But you can actually make um, carry one transfer. You can't carry more than one transfer. So right now you have three transfers. You have to make at least two of them or else they'll disappear from your team. And um, the three transfers I'm looking to make, one of them is um, Paulinho. The only the only way I can get Vlahovic in my team, I really want Vlahovic. He only took like 30 seconds to score against Villarreal on his Champions League debut. I can get Vlahovic in for Polinho, but I'll need to take out either Bernardo Silva or Mares. So I can do that right now if I want it. But the problem is I don't want to take out Bernardo Silva right now. And then come Wednesday next week, Bernardo Silva is the one playing and then Mares is on the bench. That will really hurt me because if City go with three or four of their first team players, they could easily get another three or four. That is a problem. The other transfer I'm looking to make is to get another Bayern player in. So either someone like a Nabri or a Mola, um, instead of someone like a Mares or a Polinho, I can do that as well. Get um, the fourth Bayern player in my team. And the other one I can do is take out Polinho and take out Bernardo Silva, bring in Anthony up front and then get a cheaper midfielder um, in the Bernardo Silva spot. But defensively as well, I could go for someone like from a Real Madrid or a PSG and take out Laporte and Cancelo, but I'm not really keen on doing that. I've tried to get in Mbappe into my team or Benzema in place of Paulinho, but I'll definitely need to remove Maris and both Maris and Cancelo from my team and downgrade that. And I don't want to remove all four of them because I already have City players for the next round. I don't want to take out all of them because I'll need them for the quarterfinal and I don't want to take them out and then bring them back in. It's always going to save one transfer here and there. So I'm looking to make two transfers this week and maybe the five next week uh, will be taking out the likes of Moreno if they're eliminated. Um, someone like I had for Lino as well, if he's eliminated, depends on how the team goes. But the most City players they can take out are two. So at the moment, my team looks like Ulrich, Alexander-Arnold, Rudiger, Laporte, Cancelo at the back. Sane, Bernardo Silva, Mares, Salah in midfield, Paulinho and Lewandowski up front. Lewandowski is my captain for the first day. I'll have a captain video tomorrow. Donnarumma on my bench, Hale, Moreno and Jorginho. So I, ideally, I will need uh, a couple of more um, Ajax players. The easiest one I can do is take out Cancel and bring in uh, Mazrui from um, Ajax. 
But again, Diaz is out for six weeks for Manchester City. Will that mean Laporte has to start? Will that mean Cancelo gets rested? Cancelo played in the FA Cup game for City um, this week. So it all depends. So the time I'm going to make these transfers will be after Sunday, after I see the kind of lineups this team start with. So, for example, if Bernardo Silva starts and plays all 90 minutes against uh, Manchester United, I'll definitely take him out. I don't think he'll start. If Myers doesn't start that game, I'll assume he could end up starting that one. So we'll wait and see. But that is how my team is looking right now. And those are the plans for me. Let me know if you decided what, you, what you're doing for the City players. Have you yet decided what you're going to do? It's going to be a tough one. As I said, I scored 94 points last week. I don't think it's going to be as good as that because of these players who are not playing. Salah will definitely play, but they are ready to... Will they go explosive in this game as well i don't think so alexander arnold could he keep a clean sheet again against um inter milan we have to wait and see georgini is also a concern um if he does if he plays against um burnley this week i'm not sure he's going to play the other week against um lille they also have like three premier league games before they play against lille next time so it's going to be a headache but georgini could come off Cancelo could come off um also, Paulinho could come off and one of Bernardo Silva and Maris. Those are the players I could take out, but it's going to be interesting. In terms of fixtures, Bayern, Salzburg, expect Bayern to win. Um, Liverpool, Inter, expect Liverpool to win again, maybe something like a 2-1. Real Madrid, PSG, expect them to draw, which will mean PSG go through. Man City, Sporting, I still expect them to win like 3-1 or something. United, Atletico, I can see that going to extra time, 1-1 again. Ajax, I expect them to win. That's why I'm trying to get another couple of their players in. Chelsea, I'm not sure who's going to start. As I said, they have three Premier League games before that, so that is a concern. Juventus, Villarreal, I'm not keen on bringing anyone from Villarreal, but Vlahovic is someone I'm definitely looking at from Juventus. If you had this team, let me know what would you do. Let me know how your team is looking. It's going to be interesting, but as um, in case you haven't joined the league yet, 83UVQC0A09 is the code. Um, hit the like button if this video is helpful. I'll have um, a team selection video tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Keep staying safe. And I'll catch up with you guys soon.